day has come. Welcome back to another video, everyone. I'm picking up my Tesla. It's been about almost two weeks. Well, maybe a week and a half since my Tesla. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, all right, buddy. Thanks all a right, lot. Thank you so much. Now right. you too. it is finally fixed. Right here, what I'm showing you is the invoice of what wow. happened. Pretty much my concerns with the vehicle may not restart message and all those other uh, cooling systems and all that other stuff that was popping up saying no climate, no uh, high voltage and none of that stuff. It seemed like it all was a part of the rear drive unit. So pretty much that's what they replaced. So they, they, they pretty much said my concerns that um, I had problems. They checked all the drive unit. They did a high voltage test and they came up with the rear drive unit 3DU. They removed and replaced it. And as you see, the first part they changed was the high voltage harness. And that this part right here, I just did a Google uh, of the part number, just pretty much a cable cost like about a hundred dollars and change and then also they replace the rear um, inverter drive unit um, and that one right here I seen um, they have this on sale for about 2500 so the question is is it just the piece or is it the whole unit I, I really don't know but when you look up this part number it's actually both so they took care of all of that. And also when they was doing the inspection, they uh, noticed that the, uh, the shield, aero shield underneath the rear and the front was broken. And I actually had to pay for that, which wasn't too bad. Um, and you know, I, and I also did a Google search on that and it seemed like it's pretty common, especially in places that have snow or water it seems like as you're driving on the road and water or snow get caught on the panels and it, it will rip it and it seemed like uh they have different revisions the one they put on is a revision d i do not know which revision that i had however when i checked online a lot of people back in 2019 they were having division b because A used to rip a lot, so they made a B, so I guess they had a C, and I'm pretty sure mine was maybe a B or a C, because I got my vehicle in 2021, so it's probably a B or C. Either way, they replaced that, and that's about it. And that's all I did. I drove my vehicle, of course, to the gym. I had a good workout, and even though I'm still a little paranoid, when I'm driving, I'm waiting for that message to pop up on the screen but so far it hasn't popped up and after doing some research it seems like that rear drive unit is the problem i see a lot of people uh they said that they had the cable replaced and maybe when i first was getting this that message maybe it was the cable just loose or the cable was messing up the wiring harness was messing up from the beginning however i'm thinking since they couldn't find anything there as in Tesla. Couldn't find anything wrong with it when I first took it there back in September. And I still drove with it. And then every once in a while it'll pop up until the last few days before it got shopped. Um it was it was really popping up like crazy. And I made an appointment, but it didn't make it to the appointment. It broke down finally. I think that's when it was some type of damage probably to i wouldn't be surprised if the damage was to the connector itself either way i got a new drive unit in there that was covered under the warranty so you know that's all taken care of and they did the regular routine stuff they checked the tires and all that stuff they topped off the fluids and they test drove the uh, vehicle and that's it so all i can say is my baby is back and I'm happy. Well, I would say the uh, loaner car I have that I had had um, heated steering wheel, and I really like that heated steering wheel. I'm not gonna lie, but anywho, that's about it. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, and hopefully it'll be smooth sailings 
from this point forward. Peace.